All right, guys, it's 12 o'clock. Playlist in that chat. Listening to some old Drake. Still haven't listened to his new mixtape. But I dig the old stuff. If you guys don't know, I've got a little white multi poo little fluffy guy named drake that i got from an ex-girlfriend when she moved very cute very blind very terrible animal um as far as equipment today guys weights bands i think that's all we need um let's take it slow I don't know if you guys got any movement in. I got a little bit, but not too much. We're going to lay back down on the ground, plant those feet. And we're just rotating those hips side to side. So isolating that hip movement, getting into those joints a little bit, just dropping knees side to side, that laying 90-90. Good. If you want to pull both knees towards chest, you can kind of roll around or just hang out in that center position. We'll extend one leg out, move that other leg. You can move both ankles actually through some ankle circles. Switching sides. Good. You can tug on that leg, bring it out wide, bring it in close. So like I said, we got Drake coming up on that playlist. Threw it in the chat. We want to get it synced up. It's on uh, Stefan Olander's first song is Hotline Bling. I'm going to start that in three, in two, and there it is, guys. Good. So if you're still switching, make sure you get that little external pull and then pulling that leg over and across. Get a couple on each side. So all that fills in that low back. And I didn't see any comments in the chat, so hopefully sound is good. Video is good. Good guys, whenever you're ready, let's plant both feet down. We've got a lot of hinging today. So we'll fill out those glutes, try to get those bad boys firing, squeezing cheeks up at the top, really trying to make that mind body connection. So we're thinking, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those glutes. And then our body's going squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the top. Wherever you're at, maybe get three more. Good guys. Let's sit it up, hands back behind us. Going into a tabletop, bringing those hips up, filling those shoulders, those wrists, those biceps. Still squeezing those glutes at the top. Good guys. So, with that 90-90 position that we were doing laying, we're gonna do the same thing seated. We just add to it a little bit. So we'll drop knees down, okay? If my right leg is 
uh, the one that I'm facing towards. Right hand's coming back, and left hand is reaching. So we're really extending on that opposite uh, hip, okay? And feeling that side body stretch, switching sides. Stefan called another position a mermaid. To me, that does look like a mermaid, but this also looks maybe like a mermaid coming out of the water, maybe waking up in the morning, stretching. Go, yeah, we're good there, guys. We'll come into a tabletop. We're just gonna alternate between up dog, down dog. So pushing those hips back, you can pedal out those feet. And then rolling forward. Looking over either side, you can let those hips pivot or drop down. Good. Whenever you got about two there, we'll walk it into this forward fold. Move those hips side to side. Soft knees here. Don't have to be fully locked out. Good guys, and to get to standing, we're gonna push knees forward. We're gonna tuck our hips under us. Just slowly roll it up. Let's start with some little arm circles here. Those palms can be facing down. And actually let's go forward with that direction. So small arm circles, palms facing down, moving forward. Okay, slowly getting larger and larger. So we're doing that brush stroke. Good guys, this time palms up, in small little circles. Slowly getting bigger and bigger. Good, as big as we can. So let's tee out those arms. We'll reach across our body, down to opposite toe. Little 80s style aerobics class, star position, reaching across, get a couple more reps. Good guys, when we're good there, just shake it out a little bit. So again, we got some pushes, we got some hinges. So for that hinge position, because it is a core movement, something that's a foundational movement for a lot of different uh, weightlifting moves. Just always want to reinforce some good habits. So driving feet into the ground, think about your feet like little tripods, okay? Our heel, uh, both corners of our, the front of our foot, we want to root through, okay? So feet are firmly planted into the ground, Sitting, sending those sit bones back, abs are braced. Let's just get 10 more reps there. Regular hinge position. Good, hinge it out guys. Think about those moves. All right guys, taking it up just a notch for the last 90 seconds. So same idea, we're just gonna take one leg out of it. So I'm sending one leg back and then we'll get a little hop here. Let's go four on one side, four on the other side. Good guys, when we got four and four, we're just taking it to that cross body, uh, cross jumping jack, moving that chest. Maybe exaggerate that movement coming out wider than you normally would. So let's go regular jumping jacks. Good, a couple touchdowns here for good measure. Good, a little chop action, kicking across our body with a little shuffle there in the center. Just 
it's lengthening those hamstrings. Good guys. And as I go through this, maybe just move that neck around. I know I always have you guys do these sorts of movements, but just make sure there's no tension here, especially with any of the pressing motions it tends to uh, exaggerate or add to any tension that's already in the shoulders or in the neck. Okay, so just try to work through that. Um, I'll explain the structure for today's workout. So give me about, uh, probably about 90 seconds to do that. Uh, what you'll need are your weights. You'll need some bands or a band. Uh, and that is it. So we've got three different groupings of movements, okay? There is a constant that you're gonna see in this workout and it's a staggered leg, uh, staggered leg hinge or deadlift. So what that looks like is one leg is gonna be forward. A majority of the weight is gonna be in that forward leg. The other leg is back, just providing some support, okay? Both hips are still facing forward. I'm not letting that back leg open up. So both hips are forward and we're just hinging, okay? Down in front of us, just like we practiced. So that's a constant move you're gonna see throughout the entire workout. Uh, I'm no mathematician, but when I added this up, I think there were 55 hinges total on each side. So that's what you got to look forward to. Um, again, three different groups of movements. Let's focus on the first group. We'll get through that. Uh, the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna set 30 seconds on the clock for that first group, overhead press to tricep extension. So from a standing position, we're pressing overhead, okay? Elbows stay nice and tall, pointed towards the ceiling. Tricep extension right back down, okay? We got 30 seconds on the clock for that movement. Once we get through that at your own pace, you've got five reps on those staggered stance uh, RDLs, okay? So hinging at the hips, dropping that weight down, snapping up tall, okay? Five on your right. We're gonna go to split leg V up next. Again, I'll have 30 seconds on the clock. So legs out wide. Extending out, as we come up, we're reaching between, right back down, okay? 30 seconds on the clock for those split leg V-ups, and then we'll go and finish out the five reps on our left side for that uh, staggered stance hinge, okay? So that's one time through. We're gonna do that three times through total, and then we'll go into the second grouping of movements. Um, because there's time, a uh, time element, and rep-based element here, I'm gonna to try to do a majority of the workout here with you. Just to uh, make sure I'm, I'm pacing and, and not, you know, uh, pushing you guys too hard. Woo, all right, it's gonna be a fun one. First 30 seconds, guys, we're gonna grab our weight, go into that overhead press to tricep extension. I've got 30 seconds on the clock. We are going in five, in three, and let's get it guys. First 30 seconds on the clock, press it overhead, tricep extension at the top position, A little press action. Little tricep extension, elbows stay elevated up high. Good work, guys. We got 10 more seconds. Good, brace those abs. Don't let that low back take any of the pressure. And that's time. All right, right into those five on the right, staggered stance RDLs. So shoulder blades rotated down and back, bracing those abs, nice strong. Midsection. All right. Didn't count there. Felt like five. All right, guys, take an extra 10 seconds here. We're going down to the ground. Split leg V up, just like a V up, except we're kicking those legs out wide. All right, guys, 30 seconds on the clock. 
We're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. If you can keep those legs long, so fully extend it, toes point it, that's a bonus. No pressure there. Eight seconds. Three, two, that's time, guys. All right. Left leg coming up. Staggered stance. Again, a majority of the weight is in that forward foot. Back foot's maybe uh, six inches to a foot displaced. Big booty Judy. Good, five there. Shake it out. About 20 seconds. And we're doing the same thing, okay? Three, three times through. So that was number one. We got two more. Easy. All right, guys, 10 more seconds. Of course, club going up on a Tuesday made this playlist. All right, guys, back to those overhead presses to tricep extension. We're going in five, in three, and let's get it, guys. 30 seconds on the clock. I like keeping both feet together, but if we need to go to that staggered stance, just provides a little bit more stability, okay? Just make sure you're switching which legs forward. Nothing dramatically bad is gonna happen. We just always wanna to try to balance ourselves out as much as we can. We got five seconds. Three, two, good, that's time guys, all right. Going into that right leg, RDL, staggered stance. Five reps. Four, five, all right. We know what's up next, we're down on the ground. Shooting those legs out, wide V position. Hopefully those hips are nice and loose and can handle that. We're going in five seconds. So it's that motion there, except both legs. Going in three, two, let's get it, guys. You can also bend those knees slightly if the extension, full extension's not happening. Fifteen seconds. Seven seconds. Good. That's time. All right. Going lefty. Left leg forward, right foot back. Both hips square. Good, breathing through it, guys. Easy. That's two times through. An extra 15 seconds here. Shake it out. We're going three times. Not bad at all. All right, guys, get ready to go. 30 seconds on that overhead press. We're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. Good, directly over our chest. Boom, finishing overhead. And we're ready for that tricep extension. 10 more seconds. We got three, two, and that's time guys. All right, taking that weight down. Right leg forward, left leg back. Hinging for five.
Those hips are the powerhouse of the body, generating all that explosiveness. So if you think of those big power movements, cleans, kettlebell swings, everything where we're moving a lot of weight, it's all coming from your quote unquote core, your hips, your lats, all these muscle groups that attach that midsection. All right, split leg V up. We're going in five. In three, two, let's go guys. Oh. <laughs> I can see myself going into this position. Looks like I'm trying to be modest and cover myself up right at the top. Keep it going. 12 seconds. Seven seconds. Three. Two. Woo, that's time. All right, standing up, left side. Left leg forward, right back. I'm trying to go right into those movements. So that I have an opportunity to chill out. Is that three times through? That's one done. How are we feeling? Easy? Not bad? It's about to get spicy right here. All right, next grouping of moves, guys. If we didn't do three, make sure you chat me up, but that felt like three. All right, blast off push ups. So from a plank position, we're gonna kick those hips back, okay? Sending them back, knees are bending, I'm loading up my feet, okay? From there, I'll extend out, press down, load back up, okay? If we need to extend out, drop to knees, press, same idea, okay? Just turning this push up, push up's already a full body movement, but bringing more of those legs into it, loading up those hips, and then extending out to go into a push up. That's 30 seconds. Immediately following that, we got five reps on that right side of staggered stance. You guessed it, hinge. All right, so that's 30 seconds on the blast off push-ups, going to five on the, on the right leg for those hinges. And then we're going weighted sit-ups, little abdominal movement here, weight across your chest. Okay, you can keep those legs fully extended if you want. Sitting up, right back down. Also, you can try it, seeing what those legs bent feels like. Both are equally hard. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock for those weighted sit-ups. Same thing, three times through. We're starting with the blast off push-ups. We'll get it going here in five. In three. All right, guys, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's blast off, baby. Already 10 seconds in, three reps down. 15 seconds in. Twenty seconds in. Good guys. Whew. That's time. Standing it up. Hinging. Right leg forward. Right to it. Five. All right, I might add a little more weight here. We'll see. So coming up next, 10 seconds to get there. Weight at sit-ups, weight across our chest. Woo. 30 seconds on the clock. We're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. Right now, legs fully extended, feels kind of nice. 
15 seconds, guys. And how many reps you get doesn't necessarily matter. We got three, two, good. That's time. All we want is that time under tension for those abdominal movements. Left leg forward, finish out with the same weight. Left forward, right leg supporting. Tracing the front of your body. Five hinges. Whoa, that's one down, guys. Another 10 seconds. We'll pick up round two. We still got one more group after this and then a finisher. Round two coming up, blast off push-ups. We're gonna go in three, in two. Let's get it, guys. I know I got 10 the first time. Trying to count out. 15 seconds. Three seconds. Good guys, that's time. Got one extra one in there. I love setting those little goals for yourself. It's an opportunity to meet or exceed what you previously did. I'm going right into those five RDLs. Shoulders rotated down and back. Powerful hips, guys. There's five. Down to the ground. We'll get going in five seconds on those weighted sit-ups. Pick your weight. We're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. 30 seconds here. These ones I'm not counting. Doesn't mean you shouldn't. I just decided it in my head a long time ago. And I'd rather have that time on attention than reps. We got three seconds. One more. That's time, guys. Setting it up, even out that left side. If you got options for weights, maybe try out a different weight. I went slightly heavier. Just one bell size up. Good. Five, 10. Take another 20 seconds. Third time coming up. How you doing, JR? Woo! What's up, Camacho? All right. Six seconds to get there. Blast off push-ups. I got 10 the first time, 11 the second time. Probably not getting much more than that. Think about what you want here. We're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. Last and off. Powerful presses, elbows in, either close to your body or at 45. The further they're flared out, the more it takes it into your shoulders. And we want this to be a chest movement. Keep it going, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, good. That's time. All right. Right leg forward, RDLs. Here they go. Good. 
Good guys. As we're hinging, I'm looking out the window and I caught myself letting my head come up. Okay, there's a nice little curve here. We want to try to keep a straight line from head to butt. Weighted sit ups. We're going in five. In three, 30 seconds. Let's get it, guys. Weight on that chest. Keep your mind slightly off my chest. Just keep that mic squared away. But still, use that torso to make this action happen. 10 seconds, guys. We got three, two, that's time. All right, finishing out that left side for three times. Left leg forward, right leg back. Give you a front view here just in case. Man, good, that's three through guys. And on those hinges, a good kind of target. You should feel all of this guy, even up into that glute of that forward leg, all that starts tightening up. It's like a little rubber band. It almost wants to snap you right back up. All right, grab your water, grab what you need. Third group before a finisher. Down on the ground, digging this little chest press with a twist. Let's go light for this demo. So, on the ground, weight over our chest. Always like to mention this if you get into it, roll into that bad boy. You can set it up on your chest after. Okay. But from here, we're going to press up. One hand's going to rotate towards the top of my head, the other one's rotating down towards the bottom of my torso. And all we're doing is changing the weight distribution, where this weight's headed, how our body's handling it. We got 30 seconds on the clock for that press with the twist. Okay, we'll stand it up. We'll go five of those uh, staggered stance hinges and then <laughs> plank body saws. So from a plank position, elbows under our shoulders here, okay? We're pressing the ground away, and then I'm going to pull myself forward, digging those elbows in. And what we're thinking about is we're pulling our, our elbows in, right? Our arm may not necessarily move, but it's that lat activation for that saw. You're also holding a plank. That midsection's really tight, braced, okay? And we'll finish with five on the left. So starting with on the ground, chest press with a twist, 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to go in five, in three, 30 seconds, guys, pressing it, twisting it. Starting this round on the bottom, pressing up. That's already 12 seconds. That weight's directly over your chest the entire time, arms fully extended at the top. Good, five seconds. And that's time. So you get out of it just like you got into, you can roll it over. We're standing up. Five on the right, RDLs. Staggered stance, one foot back. Three, four, yeah, buddy. All right, down in a plank position, forearm plank. We're going in 10 seconds. In three, two, good, let's get it, guys. So pulling ourselves forward, rocking back. 
and weight is shifting on my toes there. 15 more seconds if you need a side view. Good, that's time guys. Finishing on the left. Left leg forward, right leg back. Yeah, buddy. One down, two to go. Let's get these two. Fifteen seconds. Back on the ground, chest press with the twist. Nothing in the chat. I'm assuming you guys are all good. 22 seconds. Or excuse me, 22 with us. We're down on the ground. Weight over our chest. We're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. If you want to think about squeezing that weight, I've got a kettlebell here. It's going to be the same for a dumbbell. You're just grabbing the outside edges and twisting side to side. Keep it going. Five seconds. That's time. Standing up. RDLs. Right leg forward. Proud chest. Shoulders back. There we go. Still rooting into the ground. Take 10 seconds. Shake it out. We're going down to the ground. We got body saws. Going in three, two, let's get it, guys. So shift and weight. By right, pulling ourselves forward, pushing back. 15 seconds. Bracing those abs. Like someone was gonna punch you in the stomach. We got three, two, time, guys. Standing back up. Finish out that left. There's five. All right. Third time through. We're 38 minutes in. We'll finish out this grouping. We'll get into the finisher. And that'll be it, guys. So close to the end. Nice little pump. Woo. All right. 10 seconds to get there. Back on the ground. Press to a twist. We're going. In three, two, let's go, guys. Thirty seconds left here of this movement. Keep it going. Fifteen seconds. We got five. We got three, two. That's time, guys. Here we go, right into those five. Five on the right. I think I just did six. All right. Body saw, surprisingly, the toughest one for me. Down on our forearms. Five seconds. We're going in three, two. Let's get it, guys. Little rocking motion. Whew. 
Good, 10 seconds, 20 more. Ten more seconds, guys. Big deep breaths. Breathe through it. We got five. That's time. Standing up. Left leg hinge. And let's get it, guys. There's five. All right. Last one, guys. Maybe grab a sip if you need it. What's up, Rachel Lee? Ooh, Nelly. All right. So the finisher, we're just going two times through. It's at your own pace. I'm not keeping time here. We're going to do it together. We got 10 reps on those side bends. So weight's gonna be on one side. You can have one hand up. Okay, this other hand doesn't really matter too much. I lock it onto my head so I know I'm not using anything crazy to get to that standing position. I'm not swinging. But otherwise, we're focusing on the side of the body here. Crunching up. You got 10 on your left, 10 on your right. Dropping that weight down. Band coming across your chest. So, like we're pledging allegiance, okay? Other hand's gonna hook in, and I'm just going tricep extension, elbow, point it up and back, okay? 90 degree bend there to a straight line. You'll get 10 and 10, and then surprise, surprise, finishing with five staggered stance RDLs on the right, five on the left. We'll go through that two times, guys. Two times through. Whenever you're ready, have those bands, have those weights. We're starting with those side bends. It's 1242. Let's see if we can finish by 1245. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Whenever you're ready, guys, pick up that weight of choice. We're going to those side bends. We got 10 on the left, 10 on the right. Big crunch action. Good. 10 on the right, 10 on the left. When you get 10 and 10, grab that band, tricep kickbacks. Still staying long in that neck, not letting those shoulders shrug to get that weight up. Hips also staying steady. Woo. Trying to control that weight. Don't let that weight control you. So, Right hand across chest, left hand hooking through. We got 10. Good, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Good, when you got 10 and 10, five RDLs on the right, five on the left, staggered stance. Coming up to that last round, use your time, whatever you wanna give, whatever you can give with what you have at home, 12.44. Last time through, 10 side bends. Shake it out if you need to. Otherwise, going right to it. Good, hips are staying locked in. I'm just bending, compressing on one side, elongating on the other, and then reversing. One straight line. Like we're in between two planes 
of glass to panes. Panes are planes. Ten on the right, ten on the left. Tricep extensions up next. Find those triceps. Little horseshoes popping on the back of your arm there. Good, 10 one side, 10 the other. You're gonna finish with five and five on the RDLs. And that's a day, guys. RDLs, five and five, make it happen. Woo! Oh, Eric, in the house. Thought he couldn't be caged. Thought you were living outside, man. Good. When you got five and five, ditch that weight. Wash those hands a bit. For those hinges, all those hinges. Again, we can stay a little bit longer in these positions. Just going into that figure four. You can do this standing or laying down. Everything we were doing, we were elongating and then compressing real snappy. We spent a little bit more time in there, release some of that tension. Yeah, Sarah A, good work. Nice, JR. Good guy, switching side to side. We got the classics here too. For some reason, I never do these because I used to do them in elementary school. And for some reason, I don't trust what my elementary PE teachers were showing me, but it does stretch you. So pulling arm across body. You can also give that tricep a pull up top. Just try not to talk into the mic right there. Coming out wide, pulling across, getting into those triceps, that chest. If you have a wall nearby, you can place that hand into the wall. It's the same thing as when we're laying down on the ground. And again, these last couple of moves here, spend some time in them. If you have a pull up bar or something to hang on, I always encourage that. That's one of my favorite tools for any shoulder impingements, any issues with our spine, any tension in our low back, hanging, decompresses. If you think about it, all the weight we're putting in front of our body, okay, tends to kind of beat us down, start rounding out when we hang, puts us in this nice long vertical position, great space. Um, that's all I got for you guys. That was the workout today. I appreciate you all showing up, giving your best effort. Uh, hit me up with questions, comments, slide into the DMs on Instagram, pretty responsive there. Um, you can shoot an email to fitness in the city, fitness in the city at gmail.com as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, business as usual, we're back. Uh, small class sizes or small groups, those have been filling up. We're gonna look at uh, what we can do if there's no announcements on opening up more capacity, say 25% um, or opening up more spots, we'll possibly be opening up in this studio as well. Still gotta have those discussions, but um, that's where we're at right now. Let us know if you have questions. Appreciate you guys.